In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set the foundation, slipping and rolling, and becoming the best boxer ever. All of the great fighters have a lot of things in common. Heart, dedication, conditioning, focus, but majority of them have really good footwork. And that is the foundation to all of movement. But essentially in boxing, it's where you start at. So let's go over some ways today and drill how we can set the foundation and move more efficient and become the best boxer you possibly can. So in our boxing stance, obviously we can throw our punches, but the movement and foundation is important. One of the keys to boxing is to make people miss so you can make them pay. That is the sweet science. So let's go over the foundation. Let's start off with a simple slip. So there's not one way to slip. There's way more than that. Just like there's not only one way to throw a punch. So let's go over a few of the foundations. When I am slipping to my rear side, making my opponent miss, the first thing is getting away from a punch, protecting myself at all times. So my hands will be up, but to move out to the side, I don't necessarily have to move 15 feet. I only have to make the miss by about an inch. So when I use the slip, I can bend at my waist, bending the knees, bending the hips, but not displacing my feet equally moving my body out the way of the punch so that I could make them pay on the counter. That's the first phase, not moving the feet, but being balanced and control. The second level to that is doing the same slipping movement, but now actually moving my rear foot. When I go to my rear side, I will let my rear foot step out with me. I don't want to step so far so that I'm off balance, but I'm going to step slightly away, not only missing the punch, but now giving my body space to move or to get out the way. That again is just moving my rear foot only to that side. Now the third level to that would be moving both of my feet at the same time, bending at the waist, bending at the hips. So as I step to my rear side and slip, I'm going to move my rear foot, then my lead foot, completely displacing myself from where I was at in the first position. Again, the whole goal is to not get hit and then to be able to hit. So let's take that foundation to the bob and weave or our roll. Same aspects, same fundamentals. When I bob and weave the first time, I can stay in place, making my opponent miss so I can make them pay but without creating a whole lot of energy expenditure by moving around. So when I roll, I'm gonna bend at the knees, bend at the waist, keeping the hands up, dropping the body down, nice and controlled, making a U shape around my bag or my opponent, dropping underneath and coming right back. The second level to that would be adding my foot, moving out to the side. As I roll to my rear side, I'm gonna begin with my rear foot stepping out, dropping my hips down, and then coming right back, right foot following. When I do this, I wanna make sure that I'm always balanced, not excessively stepping, and not putting myself in a precarious situation. Now the third level to that, of course, would be rolling to the rear side with both my rear foot, my hips dropping, and then my lead foot, displacing myself from my opponent. One more time again, rolling to the rear side with your foot, hip, and then the other foot. Essentially moving, perfecting, and becoming the best boxer I can. Now, with just those three foundations, what we can do is eventually get to the place where you're actually working the pendulum and even throwing counter punches and also transitioning into the power pivot, similar to how Lomachenko, Roy Jones Jr., and Manny Pacquiao move. But that's for another video. Now, let's go through a couple of easy drills that we're gonna do to perfect these foundational movements. The first one we're gonna do is 30 seconds of slipping in place. We'll go to our rear, then to our lead. Rear, and then lead. Then we're gonna slip and step. Step with our rear, step with our lead. Slipping and moving. And then finally, I'm gonna slip with both of my feet, rear, then lead, and then lead, then rear. We're gonna go through those lovely motions, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Let's rock. So, let's begin. For 30 seconds, I'm gonna slip to my rear side, then my lead side, without moving my feet. Slip rear, then slip lead. Making sure that you're bending at the waist, keeping the hands up, bending at the knees. Good, 
There might be a little small shuffle of where your foot placement is. However, I'm not moving. Stay in control. Keep your eyes up at all times, but becoming a better boxer, rep by rep. Nice and control and relax. Now, when I slip, I'm gonna step with whatever side I'm going to first. Slipping to my rear, my rear foot goes first. Slipping to my lead, my lead foot moves first. Either way, I'm still moving my head slightly, moving the waist and bending so that I can always simulate missing a punch. Never wanna get hit in the face, it's terrible. Nice and easy, good control, great breathing. Bringing that rear foot back and that lead foot back and relax. And the final movement on that phase, we're gonna step with both of our feet, slipping and displacing ourselves from our opponent, just like this. Slip, right or left, then slip, lead rear. Make sure you move both of the feet Make sure you're bending at the waist and bending the knees. That's it. Nice. Foundational aspects have to be repped out all the time. There it is. Now, let's simulate the same thing for our bob and weave. Same foundational drills. Let's start off with not moving our feet. Bob and weave, roll lead, roll rear. Remember making that small little U movement, but not stepping with my roll. That's it. Nice control, good breathing, bending at the knees, bending at the waist, seeing that U form on each side of the bag. Good control. Good breathing, and there we go. Second level, moving that foot when I go to my rear, moving that foot when I go to my lead. In your boxing stance, ready, let's go. Roll rear, come back. Roll lead, come back. I'm only moving one foot at a time. You should start to feel this maybe in the calf muscles and the hamstrings and the hips. That just means you're doing it right. Good. Keep rocking. Make sure you always come back to a balanced boxer stance. And last one, we're gonna move both of our feet. When I go rear, rear then lead. When I go lead, lead then rear. Here we go. Last one, best one. Roll, come back, roll, reset. Good rolling, move that body. Make sure your hands staying up. Make sure you're staying in the fight. Oh yeah. We are just about done. Keep these reps going. 10 more seconds. That's it. And there you have it. Easy drill to focus and to work on the foundational footwork that we need to be like the elite fighters. Keep training, keep putting in work. If you wanna see more boxing and kickboxing inspired workouts like this, be sure to subscribe below and hit the bell for notifications so you get the videos as soon as we release them. Until next time, Coach PJ signing out.